Bu chili. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's crazy out here in these motherfucking streets. But um, yeah. What's up guys, it's your boy Jalen here and as you already know it's time for another one, yes it's time for another freaking video. Okay guys, so I just got home and um, yo when I tell you it's crazy out here in the streets, it's crazy out here in the streets. Every time I leave work, I say a little prayer, I ask God to go before me, guide me, direct my path, you know, protect me from all incidents, accidents and get me home safely because motherfuckers be crazy out here like people just be killing one another for no reason and I don't feel safe at all i don't i don't feel safe at all and um when i don't know what to do about the situation or i don't know what to do with the situation when i don't know what to do when it's above me i leave it to him i leave it to god so i'm gonna pray right now i'm gonna say a little prayer lord jesus i ask you to just watch over each and every one of my friends my family my loved ones feel these young people with the spirit of common sense lord guide them you know, because most times they'll be doing the most for absolutely no reason. So I leave them in your hands, Lord. You know, take care of this. Take control of this. Because right about now, it's above me and I can't do anything about it. So I leave them in your name. Cover us underneath your blood, you know, and all that good stuff. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye now. Okay. <laughs> so if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, guys, if this is your first time actually coming across my page, this is the first time actually seeing my face or all that good stuff, then yeah. I'm weird. I hope you guys actually can get used to this shit because this is all pretty much what goes on over here on my channel. So if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are already subscribed, then you guys are fine. You guys know what I do over here. You guys are used to this. Turn the post notifications on that way. Whenever I post anything, you guys can be informed. You can come over, check it out, see what I'm up to. And um, yeah, without any further ado, guys, let's get right into this video if you guys hear any noise in the background <laughs> if you guys hear any noise in the background um i got the wind blowing because as you guys know i'm always hot and um it's raining outside so please excuse any background noises you guys might hear um if you guys don't hear anything then it's all good let's watch a disney channel movie let's watch a disney channel movie You guys don't remember oh my god that was my shit that was my shit that was my shit i get excited all over and i get all emotional just thinking of this song oh my god what happened to disney channel <sighs> what happened to the old disney channel guys can someone please tell me why don't they bring this shit back why why don't they bring this shit back i miss it i miss it i miss it and whenever i hear this like there would always be a new disney channel movie at 8 every night on the dot growing up like if i was out with my friends i would rush home just to check on what new disney channel movie they were going to play why like they're revamping everything they're revamping every shit there is out there why doesn't disney bring back the old disney there used to be playhouse disney there used to be zoo disney there used to be toon disney why don't they bring the shit back i <laughs> You know what? Yeah. It's above me now at this point. It's above me now. You guys need to bring that shit back, okay? Can can we like can we create a petition or something? Like I miss the old Disney Channel and I'm sure my 90s babies out there can relate. You guys feel me? Let's watch a Disney Channel movie. <laughs> I want it back. If you guys can't already tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be doing the 10 best Disney Channel movies of all time, in my opinion. I'm a 90s baby, if you guys didn't know, I was born in the 90s. Don't try to guess my age. 
you'll hurt yourself but um yeah so i'm a 90s baby and back in the day back in my era back in my time when life was good there were a lot of awesome stuff being played on television like tv was amazing tv was the shit back in the day especially disney channel disney channel used to be the shit disney channel used to be my shit i used to be a disney freak right now there's just a whole lot of crap on the television that i can't seem to understand like majority of the cartoons don't make any sense and um tv is just not the same but back in my day back in the good old 90s oh yeah that's what you call tv that's what you call disney channel so i'm gonna give you my top 10 disney channel movies of all time like i have a lot but i'm not gonna give you 10 okay and we're gonna start off with hocus freaking pocus and can't none of you guys well maybe the millennium the menil the I swear I talk too fast I'm always you guys need to get used to this because I talk so quickly that I always tie up my own tongue but um yeah the Millennials of this time might not really know what the hell Hocus Pocus is but if you guys are from my era if you guys are from the 90s even if you're not from the 90s I'm sure that you guys have heard of Hocus Pocus Hocus Pocus is basically about a family that moved to Salem so there was Max Dennison his little sister Danny and um, there, well, Max used to be crushing on this girl in his class called Allison. So Max, Denny, and Allison um, basically go off on an adventure. Um, then um, Max wasn't the type of person who believed in superstition, and um, they were just learning about the Sanderson sisters in one of their classes. And um, Max found out about this abandoned house where the Sanderson sisters, who were three witches, um, used to live and they were actually hung because they used to steal the lives out of children in Salem um, they actually went to that building there was this black flame candle that you were not supposed to light and if you did it would bring back the Sanderson sisters um, Max ended up lighting that black flame candle the Sanderson sisters actually came back and they started causing havoc stealing children's soul in Salem. Max's sister Danny was taken by the Sanderson sisters and they tried to take her soul and then Max and Allison had to try to get her back and destroy the Sanderson sisters. Pretty much in a nutshell that is how the story goes. If you guys have not seen it please check it out. It is one of my favorites and that's why it's number one. Okay so we're moving right along with number two. One of my all-time favorite movies. Well all these movies on this list are my favorites but one of my all-time favorite movies is Under Wraps if you guys have no idea what Under Wraps is it came out on the 25th of October 1997 a lot of you guys were not even born so you have no idea what I'm talking about but Under Wraps is basically a movie about um, a mommy it's a movie about a mommy so um, I think there were three kids Marshall Gilbert and Amy yeah, Marshall Gilbert and Amy, they came across a mommy. They accidentally set a mommy free and they basically have to try to get back into its casket, into its coffin before midnight or else it would be dust or else it would vanish. So they become good friends with this mommy and they have to try to get it back to its coffin before midnight. That is all you need to know about Under Wraps in a nutshell, but you guys can actually check it out. It's a very, 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 very dope movie and that's why it's number two on my list. Moving right along, we have Halloween tongue okay halloween tongue number one because i think there are four four parts right but halloween tongue the first one halloween tongue this one came out in 1998 and it's, it's still one of my favorite movies during halloween i always look at it during halloween i always watch um hocus pocus but yeah halloween tongue pretty much um the story follows marnie a 13 year old girl who finds out that she's a witch and uh, as is her grandmother and her mother as well uh, Manny follows her grandmother Aggie to her home in Halloween Town, where it's Halloween all the time. And there, Manny gets caught, caught up in the plot of an evil demon. Manny must save the town and her family before it's too late. That's pretty much a summary of what Halloween Town is about. So um, that's why it came out number three on my list. So so far we have Hocus Pocus, Under Wraps, and Halloween Town. Moving on to number four, we have Smart House. Now tell me, you guys have heard of Smart House? Tell me you guys have heard of Smart House. Smart House is a very, very, very cool movie and it, it explains itself, it's self-explanatory. It's a smart house. In the same way that we have a lot of technology today, um, this guy, um, what's his name, what's his name, what's his name? What was his name? Ben. 
there's this young guy, Ben, right? Now his father, his father um wanted to buy a new home. And he ended up dating this woman who created um a computerized house. Okay? Um the house is like an Alexa of our time, basically. It's like a personal assistant, it can do everything for you. And um, in a nutshell, the house basically got a mind of its own and it tried to take over their family. It tried to be a mom. It wanted to take over. It wanted to be a wife to the father and a mom to Ben and his younger sister. So like we say in today, um, robots are going to take over. They're going to get a mind of their own and then they're going to rule the earth. That is exactly what happened in Smart House. The house got a mind of its own and it tried to take over. Simply that. Yeah, I don't know how else I can explain this to you guys. But yeah, Smart House. We're moving right along. The 13th year. Now, all my 90s children will know what I'm talking about when I say the 13th year. In a nutshell, well, the 13th year came out in 1999. These are 90s movies, okay? Get used to it. 90s movies. I'm a 90s baby. Is that what we're talking about? So the 13th year is basically about this guy. I want to make sure I always have their name correctly. His name was Cody Griffin. Now Cody Griffin's mom was a mermaid, right? When he was a baby, she was being chased by a fisherman and um, she had Cody with her and she had to find somewhere safe to put him. She ended up putting him on a boat in order to get away from the fisherman that was chasing her. And when she returned to get him off the boat, a family had taken Cody off the boat. They ended up raising Cody because no one claimed him. And when Cody turned 13, weird shit started happening. He started growing scales on his hand. He started um, being able to hold his, water, his breath very, very long underwater. And pretty much he was turning into a merman. The only person that could help him was his mom. They had to find her and return him back to the sea in order for him to, you know, get used to being a merman and all that. That is what the 13th fear is about in a nutshell if you guys haven't seen it check it out and we're moving right along to number six now number six on my list i have don't look under the bed now don't look under the bed came out in 1999 and it's about a young girl by the name of frances frances right yeah frances now frances was a teenager who um she didn't used to believe in supernatural things at all she believed that there was an explanation for everything until weird stuff started happening to her okay she was confronted with a boogeyman that was under her bed and when somebody started to play pranks on her in the neighborhood and started to frame her for like the mischief that was going on <coughs> that's when she realized the root of her problem was an actual boogeyman okay and she was forced to change her mind about the whole paranormal activities that were going on it's pretty dope. You guys need to check it out. So don't look under the bed. That's another one. We're moving along. The ultimate Christmas present. This movie actually came out in 2000. It came out on the 1st of December in 2000. And um, every time during Christmas, I always look up this movie because it really, really reminds me a lot about my childhood because I fell in love with this movie. Now it's about two friends. Um, I think it's... Ali and Samantha, okay? So two friends, Ali and Samantha. So they steal Santa Claus's weather machine. So Santa Claus had a weather machine and that's what he used to make it snow during Christmas and stuff like that, right? So they stole his weather machine in order to try to make, make it snow in California. I think they lived in California, right? Yeah, they tried to make it snow in California. So they stole the weather machine and um, they turned it off on in their bedroom and then it's actually started to snow in the bedroom but <laughs> it turned into a disaster so they didn't know how to turn it off and then they took the weather machine since it wasn't going off but they couldn't shut it off they took it and put it outside of um samantha's bedroom window and overnight the machine kicked off like it started going even faster and it caused like a great disaster it caused like a how a natural disaster it was snowing everywhere it was a huge blizzard like I don't even know how to explain this shit you guys just need to check this out I don't really like trying to explain stuff because I end up mumbling and uh, as you guys can see but basically they put the weather machine outside it caused like a blizzard um, flights were cancelled it just caused a great disaster and then Santa had to try to get his hands back on the weather machine and fix the entire situation okay we're moving right along to number eight Phantom of the Megaplex now Phantom of the Megaplex came out um, in 2000 November 10th 2000 and basically Phantom of the Megaplex is about a 17 year old named Pete Riley who works as an assistant manager at a local 26 screen grand Megaplex cinema okay now um, 
he had a job where he had to be an usher at the cinema and during the night he was very very busy he had to keep running back and forth and a whole lot of mess kept happening like everything kept going wrong popcorn machine kept breaking down um the toilets would overflow people would misplace stuff people would go missing like it was just a whole sort of disaster one bad thing kept happening after another at the megaplex only to find out that it was someone trying to sabotage them dressed in a phantom outfit and he his little brother and sister had to try to figure out who the phantom of that megaplex was that is basically what the movie is about number nine the lock of the irish now i'm sure you guys have heard about that if you haven't heard about it, it came out on the 9th of march 2001 and the lock of the irish is basically about a teenager by the name of kyle johnson now he was a very very popular basketball player at his school and he was very very lucky like he would always find coins um always find loose change on the street things would always go his way like he could shoot a basket without even looking score touchdown he was just very 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 lucky and he had no idea why now he had no recollection of his heritage he didn't know where he came from or anything um he went to this um like there was this um show that was going on i'm not sure what you call it some show where they were tap dancing he went to that bumped into some irish guy and um since after that his luck changed he started having bad luck only to find out that he was irish and then he went digging into his heritage to find out you know more about who he is and he found out that he was a leprechaun that was the reason why he had so much luck all those years his family's um lucky charms were stolen and then he spent the rest of the movie basically trying to get back his family's luck and blah 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 yeah that is what the luck of the irish <laughs> is about and last but not least i'm sure each and every one of you guys know this one twitches okay go twitches go twitches go 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 twitches with tia and tamara mori i don't even think i need to explain this one all of you guys should know twitches came out in 2005 if you do not know what twitches is about i'm not even gonna explain that one you guys should know what twitches is about so i'm not i'm not getting into this one but yeah those were my top 10 disney channel movies best 10 disney channel movies of all time so we had hocus pocus on the wraps Halloween Tongue, Smart House, The 13th Year, Don't Look Under the Bed, The Ultimate Christmas Present, Phantom of the Megaplex, The Lock of the Irish, and the Twitches. <laughs> if you guys know of any other cool Disney Channel movies that came out in the 90s or maybe the early 2000s or any Disney Channel movies from back in the day that you guys actually enjoy um, growing up as, a, as kids, let me know down in the comments section below and um here that's where i come to the end of this video you guys don't necessarily have to leave if you don't want to you can go ahead and check out some more you know videos over here you guys can go ahead and check out some more videos and all that good stuff but um yeah i'm gonna get changed and get all of my work clothes i just wanted to come here and make this video for you guys and um but until the next one keep it safe guys fair to love and all that good stuff and i'll catch you in my next freaking video Peace. Go twitches, go twitches, go, go, go twitches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.